right, Coach Wade is joining us now. Our format will remain similar. Uh, Coach will have some opening comments on the game, then we'll go to questions in the room. And if time permits, we'll go to questions virtually at the end. So, Coach, when you're ready, take it away. Okay, well, you know, fun's in the winning, as we like to say. It's good to see those guys have a little fun. And, uh, you know, it's just good to, good to win the game. Um, it's not e easy to win ever. It's certainly not easy to win on the road and certainly not up here. Uh, I think they do an awesome job up here. It's one of the best environments um, in the league. And, uh, you know, it's, it's certainly not easy to beat an undefeated team uh, as well. So this is a 4-0 team, a team that plays really, really hard. Um, and a lot of pride in what they do. So just super proud of our guys, man. And, 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 you know, not just winning the game, but how they responded to a very tough week, you know, tough week, you come off an overtime loss um, and obviously a, a, a really critical game. Uh, and so, you know, you got two choices, you know, like you can, you can respond uh, or you can, you know, um, not. And these guys went back to work and they had a great week of preparation. Um, I thought it was a, a just a just a great start to the game. I mean, everything <clears throat> that we needed to do to win the game, uh, we did that. Um, and it would most most importantly win in the turnover margin, which is something we've not done. Uh, and so this is this game and the FAU game are the two that we won the margin and. Um, you know, so to be able to go on the road and get a three-score win, uh, that's a huge part of it. So, you know, really proud of our defense for how they set the tone. Uh, huge, huge play by Maskell to start the game. And, uh, you know, Peyton Page, good things happen when you hustle to the ball. Peyton Page getting the ball. And then, obviously, XT getting one. And, and then uh, great, great finish there. You know, we created field position. Great finish by, by 54 uh, Trotter uh, on the interception. Had, had a season-high five sacks. But the biggest thing is this quarterback holding him to 24 yards rushing. I mean, he's averaging almost 100 yards a game. He's a, he, I got a lot of respect uh, for this kid. I mean, he is a tough, tough competitor. Uh, <clears throat> but I just thought we did a great job uh, up front. Uh, you know, had a couple of lapses, uh, but really, you know, just played tremendous, um, you know, uh, the, the entire, you know, uh, game. We had, they got the points off the one turnover there, uh, which, which hurt us. Uh, but a lot of good things in the game. Uh, number 12, you know, had a couple of sacks and had a bunch of guys, you know, uh, get in there with, and get kind of a uh, half sack, 33, 13, 0, 7, 54. All those guys got in there. But the defense set the tone for the day. And, and I thought our special teams really did a great job for us today. I, you know, um, we should not, you know, not try not, you know, we, we obviously have struggled with turning the ball over. We talked about let's end every drive with a kick. And I know we had the one uh, miscue. We're supposed to be cracking that guy, but um, Brandy's got to hang on the ball for sure. But man, Brandy came back and made a big block for us on uh, on, on the on the touchdown. Um, but I was really proud of our punt team. I thought Aiden Swanson once again had a heck of a game. Shelton Lewis in coverage, Flo down there in coverage. Our snaps were really good. And then uh, yeah, same thing with with uh, Barrett Carter. You know, down there making an impact on special teams. Uh, so just I thought that was a huge part of the game because they really didn't get any uh, return opportunities. And then offensively, another great day on third down. Uh, we're 7 to 15 on third down. And, you know, we've been really, really good all year in that category. Another great game uh, by Cade. I mean, he just continues to to just blossom, you know, before our eyes. I mean, the kid is a, just a – he's a great competitor. You see what he can do with his legs. And that's been the area of his game where he's grown the most from game one to now. Uh, you know, he's got the ability to extend plays. And what I don't know, we had maybe at least three, at least three huge scramble plays. Um, and you know, those are the those are the plays that a lot of times your big plays come off of those type of things. <clears throat> and when you got a quarterback that can that can create and can throw on the run, and uh, just really proud of him for how he competed, uh, managed the game, you know, the whole day. Uh, Bo Collins, another just outstanding day. Uh, really proud of him. Uh, big play by Stellato on a scramble touchdown, you know, just staying alive and, and then going and getting the ball. Uh, Moffa and Ship added on there. And then, and then obviously Tyler Brown, just a tremendous, tremendous performance. I mean, he's just gotten better and better each week. Uh, he plays hard without the ball and, uh, you know, really has a good feel uh, for the scramble drill. Uh, he's a really good finisher on the ball. Uh, he had one he'd probably want to get back, but, you know, I think he 
<clears throat> averaged almost 19 yards a catch and uh, had a big reverse as well uh, that we, we didn't end up finishing on that drive. But really proud of those guys uh, for how they competed and, again, just just uh, finding a way to win. So, um, you know, that was all we were trying to do was just somehow just find a way to win the game and, and find a way to at least be even in the margin and kind of see if we could get that worm to turn a little bit. So, um, we got it done, and, uh, you know, we're thankful for that. We appreciate our fans, too. I mean, we had a good crowd up here. There were a lot of Clemson people here, and I know this was a long way to come. Uh, I know there's probably some Clemson people up in New York as well that got an opportunity to see us play, so I'm glad they got a chance to see us. Uh, so excited about uh, the opportunity this week. We, we'll be going back home and got another tough opponent with Wake Forest. Um, and, uh, you know, just – uh, reset, get home, and try to find a way to win another game. Just, just see if we can get a little momentum going. Defensively, um, <clears throat> what stood out to you out of the shutdown straighter most of the day? For the last well, we, we won the last scrimmage. I mean, we, we did a we did a heck of a job, you know, up front. Um, <clears throat> they got us early. Uh, early, they popped a little speed option on us where we actually leveraged the ball, but we, we, didn't, we didn't get to it from the backside. Uh, but we actually, we did a nice job. I mean, we just, I think we won the matchups up front and created some disruption and we challenged them. We forced the issue. Um, and uh, we, we held up well on the outside. You know, obviously we had the, you know, the two biggest things were, uh, you know, early in the game, the, the second and whatever it was, 20, you know, they throw in the flat and run for, you know, 30 yards, uh, which we had a bust there, but then we didn't rally and get off the blocks and get, go get him on the ground. So that, that was a disappointing. Um, little sequence right there, and then and then off the turnover there, the, the red zone uh, to get down in the red zone. <clears throat> you know, we're just disappointed because we 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 uh, we talked about it in the huddle. They're gonna they're gonna throw back. There's gonna be a throwback, and and uh, just sometimes you know guys try to do too much, and just instead of doing their job. Uh, so a learning opportunity there. That's probably the two worst things we did, um, and they got a little bit of momentum. You know, and you're on the road. Those things are huge. And so I thought we grew up a little bit as a team because we responded. You know, we go right back out there and, and uh, defensively we get the interception. Uh, we get a stop on downs and just, you know, missed a couple of opportunities offensively uh, that, that I thought we could have put it away a little sooner. But, you know, again, uh, man, defense was relentless. They were they were outstanding. <clears throat> Coach, on that first drive, uh, Schrader broke off the big run. You guys caused the fumble. They called targeting, overturned it. You know, what did you say to the rest of the uh, target the flag was thrown? Which I just saw it clean. I didn't. I didn't see what they saw. I saw a clean hit. I, and it looked worse than it was because he didn't see him coming. And I think sometimes, you know, when it's a quarterback, it, it's you know, it, he's not a defenseless player. He's he's running the ball, and he's not sliding. He's and he's not a guy that slides. You know, he's a punishing runner uh if you really know much about this guy and he just didn't see him and again i know it looked worse uh than than it was but i thought it was a clean hit from the get-go and i saw it on the re replay and I, and I just you know uh i just didn't agree with the call so uh you know but hey that's why we got replay and review and, and they got it right coach can you talk about you know defense alignment don't get a lot of <clears throat> as we say a lot of golf you talk about the gap integrity yep. you know, for the first four guys and the linebackers are able to swing forward and make plays. Yeah, play? yeah. And today is a huge game for that because they run what we call midline, right. you know, where they'll read your D lineman, your, your free technique, your, your tackle. And, you know, a lot of people run zone read stuff, but, you know, and then that guy, that, I mean, Schrader is, I mean, he, it's like you're playing 12 people. Uh, I mean, again, he's averaging seven and a half yards a carry. And, yeah, he's got some scramble yards, but, I mean, they run him a lot, uh, and it's a, it, you have to be really, really disciplined. You know, when you when you play and you can't get split, you can't over pursue things, you can't you know get split in half because they're gonna they're gonna hurt you. But I thought we did a nice job. So everybody's got to do their job. Everybody's got to fit their gap. You saw our safeties come down. Everybody's got to count on each other to be where they're supposed to be. That's what defensive football is all about, and it starts with leveraging the ball from the outside in. And um, they, they got us one – I think the first, maybe been the first play of the game. They got outside our corner right there. Um, but, you know, it's, that's what it's all about. Everybody's got to know that, that you know, be, do their job. When you get in trouble is when guys try to, you know, do too much. And then all of a sudden, you know, those good backs and quarterbacks, they find those open gaps. So I thought we did a nice job of that, uh, really containing the run game, you know, uh, for the mo most part, you know, all night.
You talked a little bit about the uh, Cade's ability on third down. What in particular um, did you see from Syracuse that kind of allowed Cade to have that success today? Well, they mixed it up, and if you you know watch, I mean they they I mean they forced the issue. I mean they were very very aggressive, uh, you know, and they're they're rarely ever in one spot, um, but they brought a lot of pressure. <clears throat> and gave us a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups. So we knew we were going to have to hit some of those, and we did. Um, and, you know, we hit some. We got some PIs, you know, some competitive plays that were huge plays in the game. Uh, we And we knew we could double move them because they were very aggressive. And so we double moved them with a little stutter and go with Bo. That's how he got so open. Um, and, you know, just they, they kind of – I mean, they weren't sitting on their heels. And then they change it up, and they're dropping eight. Uh, and now it's, you know, you've got to be smart, you know, in that situation. And that's where Cade, I thought, did a nice job. Of, uh, uh, he probably had one bad decision, but I thought he did a nice job of managing the game, both with his feet and his decision-making and sometimes just, you know, taking what was there. But, um, man, they were – I mean, I, I'd be interested to watch the tape. I mean, it's a lot. They got to – they do a lot of stuff. And, um, and we, we'll, uh, we'll look at it and see, see, see where we can get better. But – a lot of pressure, a lot of pressure, a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and, and thankfully we were able to. And then his ability to uh, escape creates problems. You know, when you got a quarterback that can escape, and you got people running around in man coverage, it's just hard to cover guys. Um, you know, for a long time. And then he's, and then also when you have man coverage, you saw what he did a few times. He went and was able to get the first down, and that's just an area of growth for him that we need to see. He can do it, and uh, he, that, that creates a problem. It creates a lot of problems because, you know, and then we needed to make some of those plays down the field too. Uh, so both of those things needed to happen and they did happen. And, uh, and hopefully that'll serve as well as we move forward. Yeah, sorry, I've already addressed this, but, you know, the turnovers, <clears throat> I think you got 21 points off of theirs, only seven. Um, they were able to get off you guys. So, I mean, considering what's been happening in the yeah. previous games, how big yeah. was that? It's just huge. That's what, that's what I opened up with is, is you know, we – We've done everything, every every game we've played, we've hit every indicator of winning except the tournament market. Every one. More first downs, more yards, better third down. We've done it all. Uh, but the games we've lost, we've lost the turnover market. And that that is that's been a killer for us. Uh, so uh, the number one thing for us was to somehow find a not, you know, you know, you're not gonna be perfect, but you know, you might have one, but you've got to either be even or plus. And if you look at, you know, at our history, when we're even or plus, we're high, high percentage to win. And uh, so I'm just really proud. I'm thankful for that. And then we responded because obviously we had the, the, the fumble and, and it's, you know, on the road and it's, you know, a little momentum and they, they get the throwback and then they punch it in on the wheel route. And it's, you know, it's how you go handle that. And I, and I thought our guys really responded well. It was good to see that. We took a step tonight. We grew up a little bit and, you um, you know, really proud of our quarterback, and I'm super proud of our defense uh, for how they how they competed tonight, and and our special teams. Our punt team was was awesome. You kind of look at this win as uh, a <clears throat> win that shows you kind of weathered the storm of a tough start, and now you come here and you, and you get a road win, and now it's off the rest of the way to see. Well, I mean, we weathered the storm this week. I mean, it's just you know we. We're just trying to win this game, honestly. I mean, it's a long season. Uh, I, 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 what I think it says more than anything is when you you come off the, not just losing, but how we lost the game, a couple of games, and the type of disappointment that comes with that, especially when you're Clemson, and the amount of criticism and noise and things that these kids have to deal with. Um, man, I'm just really proud of how they responded. I think it just shows, you know, their heart and and. Uh, uh, you know, just who they, their character, just who these, who these guys are that wear these paws, you know, and that, that wear the jersey. I mean, it's, I mean, bad things happen. We, 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 we want everything to go our way all the time, but, but sometimes in life it doesn't. How do you respond to it? You know, and I just, I'm really, really proud of this team. I'm proud of the staff. It was a tough week for sure. Um, and then you got to go on the road to a tough place like this and play an undefeated team um, that you know is going to fight you with everything they got. And to see our guys um, just – just you saw the same type of effort that you saw last week in an overtime loss. Uh, I'm really proud of that. I'm proud of, I'm proud of these guys. So, you know, um, it was awesome this week, but we got a long way to go. I mean, we got another tough game this week. 
uh, we wake and uh, they, I think they, I think they've had an open date before us. So uh, <clears throat> we just got to find a way to win another game. If we can do that, man, it puts us at four and two going to the break and, you know, uh, try to, try to get some guys. Hey, we have, we're four, what, four starters out tonight. You know, Walker Parks is done for the year. People don't realize what a loss Cole, Cole Turner is. You know, he's out for the year. Um, that's a huge loss for us. And, but we've had to look, we've got a little more depth than we've had. And that's, that's shown. It'll bode well for us down the road. Um, and uh, not having Antonio Williams, <laughs> not having Nate Wiggins. Uh, so, you know, these guys, I'm proud of these guys uh, and how they responded. And I know their teammates back home watching are proud of them too. Coach, Go ahead. Coach, talking about the not the opposite side of the ball, opposite line, come off the ball, get into the second level, <clears throat> back is able to go down the hill. Yeah. How do you, uh, you know, think about the progress of the last couple of weeks? For us? That's yeah. Concerned. Well, our offensive line has, has actually played really well in four games. And, you know, last week, not giving up any sacks to these guys. This, this honestly, was a really tough challenge. And uh, just just their style of play, it's it's a handful. And, and then, they're you know, they got extra guys coming. Uh, we stayed patient. We finally popped one. We knew we would eventually kind of crease one. Um, you know, we probably got we, – we, we knew we were going to have to throw the ball because they were kind of forcing the issue and saying, all right, you know, go make plays. Uh, and so we did. Uh, we had some unblocked guys, uh, but we settled in there with our zone scheme a little bit, popped a couple, trying to pick up all the twists and, and gut X's inside and the plugs by the backers. And, you know, when those guys are coming quick, it's hard to stay on the double team long. Uh, but they battled, you know. And then, again, uh, Mafa in the end, uh, you know, was able to spit one. And, and when you're when you're playing, you know, tight coverage like that, if you can – if you can crease it, you know, you can get a big play. Um, so they, they've done a nice job. And, again, we, we played we played quite a few guys in there today. Uh, we got some guys in the game, which were in a, in a critical situation. So I think that that's good for the confidence. And, um, you know, they've done a nice job. I mean, they really have. That ROL has put us in position to win four games, five games. Um, you know, just they, they can only do their part. Uh, and so just evaluating them, just their part in five games, really proud of them. Early on, I know you said you weren't counting on Troy Solano just from his availability, but now that he's kind of gaining some more confidence, what role do you feel like he's kind of carving out for himself? Yeah, well, you see it, you know, happening right before your eyes. He's he's becoming a what we what we know he is. I mean, and uh, when y'all asked me that in fall camp, I said, you know, we're not counting on him. He hadn't been there. Uh, if he's if Troy's out there, it's a bonus. Um, and but we also had Cole Turner, and now Cole's gone, and Troy has gotten healthy. Uh, and, and he's, he's just gotten better and better each week. I mean, he's a tough kid. He's, he's, I mean, he's everything we thought he was. He's just for the first time in his career been available to actually play, uh, football. So, um, nothing he does surprises me. I'm, I'm really proud of him and I'm just, I'm just happy for him. The kid has, has been on ice for two years and that's really hard when you're a great football player and you're a highly recruited guy and, you know, and for two years, you just, you're just, you know, you're like, you got all this issues. Uh, so it's really cool. And sometimes, you know, sometimes this guy just needs a little bit of success. And then that, you just, just like throwing fuel on the fire. And, and it's been really good to see, you know, he, he's got great hands. He tried to run. You don't see him drop many balls, uh, even in practice. And he just tried to take off a little quick on the one today. But uh, I'm proud of him. I mean, he's, he's getting better and better. He's still, you know, you got to look at him as a freshman because he hasn't played. So he's, He's playing his way into a good role for us. And, um, you know, be awesome to get Antonio back. You know, again, we didn't, have, we didn't have him out there. He's, he's pretty good. Uh, so I'm excited about what you're seeing, what you're what we're starting to develop into, and uh, you know, starting to create the type of balance that you need uh, to to win. Can you have the uh, pass on third and 11 that – Look forward, and then there was they returned it. Did, did you were you surprised though they didn't review that on third and eleven? About seven minutes left in midfield. Uh, it bounced right near your feet, I think. Yeah, they blew it up. dead right away. Uh, so you know I, we we thought it was forward pass, but they they blew it dead pretty quick. So um, I'm sure they looked at it. They usually look at all that stuff. Any questions for Coach from Zoom? Hey, coaches, Trevor from CUTigers.com. Uh, first start for J. Lou with Wiggins out. Um, he, he really held his own with those big receivers, didn't he? He did. Uh, he, he had a you know missed tackle uh, or two. Got to get a little, little better there. But, 
I thought he played on top of the of the receiver pretty well for the most part. Um, I'm, I'm really proud of him. He's he's a handful, and he's a young player too. I mean, he's just getting valuable valuable uh, uh, minutes and, and experience. And then, you know, at the end of the game, there I don't know what was it what four, five, six minutes. We we got we got Avion in there. We got Shelton in there because I really wanted to. I mean, we need those guys. And, uh, you know, they're really good young players. Toriano, I think all those guys got in there and continued to play well for us in a, in a critical situation. They needed that experience. So um, we really like our corners. Uh, it's, a, it's a good group. And uh, I know Nate was sitting at home watching them, and, and uh, I'm sure he was really proud of them. But, yeah, J. Lou is um, – he's a unique player. I mean, there's not many guys that have that type of size and length that can really, really run like he can. He's a physical kid, and, and um, you know, he same thing. I mean, he played some last year, but he's he's starting to blossom and come into his own, and really proud of him. And nobody really talks much about Sheridan. You know, he's just a salty veteran. He had one mistake tonight, and I was disappointed with that. You know, he he, he came tried to get aggressive to come tackle the screen, I mean, been, but good job getting the PI. You know, I, that's that was a good PI because uh, he was about to be beat. But, you know, man, Sheridan Jones, uh, this kid has is, is really become a, a good player. And he's crafty. He's, he's got good, you know, uh, savviness for the game and, and just a un good understanding uh, of how to play. Uh, so I, I'm really proud of him. So the whole group has done a nice job for us. Yeah. I guess you've talked about Tyler Brown before, his fearlessness, and, you know, being ahead of the curve technically compared to where you thought he would be. Could you imagine he'd have an eight catch? 151 yard game this early in his career. Yeah, yeah. After watching him in camp and watching him these first couple games, I sure can. Uh, and, and watching this quarterback, you know, I mean, and watching our offensive line, and everybody, everybody has a part in that. Uh, it's not just him; everybody's a part of it. But uh, he's just his confidence has just grown and grown and grown. And I mean, he's uh, he's something. I mean, he's a, he's a really really good football player. And, and he's, you know, we got three more years with him. So I uh, got a long way to go, man. It's going to be good. And again, we get Antonio back. I mean, you know, uh, you got a nice little group uh, that, that we can, that we can uh, uh, hopefully keep um, growing this offense with the rest of the, the rest of the uh, season. Take one more for coach. If anybody has one. And this is Kate's maybe best two game stretch. Yeah, I guess just really yeah. what have you seen from him like, yeah. last two weeks? Yeah, he, he, he's, uh, you know, he, I thought he, you know, obviously did some really good things in the FAU game. I guess he had that, he had one, I think he had one play uh, in that game. But last week he played great. I mean, he just, it's just a shame because he played so well. Um, and he, in, in a game and an opponent like that, I mean, he just, he just, you just see it. I mean, I, even though we didn't win the game, you know, that kid grew a lot uh, from that. Um, and so he's just coming into his own. I mean, he's got a good feel for it. Um, he's an unbelievable competitor. He loves to prepare. He's not, a, he's not a, a distracted kid or anything like that. He is freaking laser focused on, you know, his process each week. And, um, you know, guys believe in him. And again, he made, he made some huge plays that, you know, he just made. And that's what great ones do, right? You watch – you watch football tomorrow, you're going to see some dudes make plays that aren't always there. And that's that's why that position is so critical. Uh, I'm proud of him. And, again, a young player that's just getting better and better and better. Thank you, Coach. Okay, thank you all. Y'all travel safe.